Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and let's get started. And today I'll be showing you how we made the pull out ribbon spinner that was in my craft room tour makeover video. So let's get started. going to begin with two of these flower cutouts from the Dollar Tree. They're just called wood shapes and it's the flower one. We're going to remove the tag and we're going to cut off the twine up top. We're not going to need it at all. Remove those and we're going to fill in the little hole with just some hot glue. So I'm going to put my silicone spatula on the back and just fill up the little hole with the hot glue until it's full and then I just remove the excess with my fingers and remove the spatula and then look perfectly fill hole because I'm going to paint it anyway so now I'm taking five of these wooden dowels they're half inch dowels and then two of the flowers here I'm only showing one but yes two of them and so I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color white or you can do whatever color you'd like and I'm also taking this piece of wood nine inches by seven inches is the wood base for the hinges and now with the first flower i'm going to create four pinholes that will match up with this four inch lazy susan hardware and i'll have it all listed in my description box and so all i'm going to do is just mark the little holes and i'm also going to create a bigger hole a half inch hole for installing the hardware and you'll see that a little bit later so make the four little pinholes and then the big hole for installing the hardware. And now I'm going to mark off where the dowels are going to sit. And because this flower shape has five petals, I'm doing five dowels. And so all I'm doing is placing one of my ribbons and placing the dowel where it would fit. Lift up the ribbon, lift it out and mark off the, the circle where I'll be placing this dowel. And so I'll do this to every single one of these little petals. Just put my dowel down, lift the ribbon out, and mark the circle where the dowel will, will sit, if that makes sense. And so I'll do that to every single petal. Just take your time and get it spaced right, because you want everything to look nice. So here's the review. So you're going to have four pinholes for the Lazy Susan hardware. You're going to have one half inch hole for installing the hardware and you're going to fill in the little hole that came with the product and then these five uh, circles for your dowels okay <laughs> so it'll look like this so now for your second flower you're going to line up this flower with the first flower and you're going to cut out where you marked off for the dowels and you're going to line it up with this little hole so you know it's going to be correct and if you see little cuts here and there yeah this balsa wood is not very good just retouch it with some paint okay so here I went ahead and installed the lazy susan hardware with those four little pinholes and just some little screws and I put nuts on the back and I also created little pinholes where the dowels will go because we're going to screw them in as well and I'll show you real quick how we're going to use this hole later. And basically we're just going to place our screwdriver through this hole to screw in and secure the Lazy Susan to the other piece, to the wood piece. Okay, so look, it's gonna look like this. And so here's the second petal and see how they line up perfectly with the dowel holes. Okay, perfect. So it's gonna look like this. So one with the holes and the other one, one with pinholes and one with half inch holes. And now we'll go ahead and secure the dowels onto the pinholes. And here I went ahead and did four of them and they're just secured with a screw and a washer. So I'll show you the last one. So it's just a screw and a washer to help keep it in place. Put it through the hole just a tiny bit like this and then place, get your screwdriver ready and place your dowel on the other side 
and just start screwing it and make sure the screws uh, as straight as possible because if you screw it in crooked your dowel will be crooked so the straighter you screw it in the better it is so just screw that in until it's nice and tight and secured and this will be a nice strong dowel now it'll hold as many ribbons as you like okay so now this is ready to go so now we're going to place this on this base here so this is the base and I didn't show this at the beginning but you're also going to take the same lazy hardware that you have you're not taking a second one you're just taking the first one and you're going to also mark off where the screws will go on this rectangular piece of wood so you can just take another one if you forget and just mark it off like this but no holes just mark off where the the, the screws will go in to secure it in place okay so now that we have our four dots we're going to place our little setup on top of this rectangle and I'll show you what that big hole was for this is where the big half inch hole comes to play so you're going to line it up as best you can and this might take a little bit of finagling but you're going to line it up until you see the little hole or the little spot that you made the little dot the little circle so right here see it see it all, it's all lined up okay so now you're going to take your screwdriver and a screw and you're just going to place it on and screw it in and that's it you're just gonna screw it in and secure it make sure you screw it tight you may have to hold on to the flower with the dowels because it wants to spin with you as you're securing the screw onto the rectangular piece of wood and so yeah just hold on to it gently and tighten up the screw and once that's nice and tight and flush with the rectangular piece you're going to spin this or turn this flower a little bit and you're going to line up the rest of the holes and do the same thing same process put your screw in there and tighten it up once you get two screws secured on there the rest is easy it's those first two that are a little tricky okay so now just spin it again until you find the next little circle little dot and there it is and so see this little hole this little half inch hole is pretty handy but it's just for the application of or the installation of this whole piece just to get just to get them together that's all it is for after that that hole is not even useful you can cover it up with something or you can leave it like that or you could put a gem on it or you know it doesn't really matter okay so now we're on our very last little hole and so you just take your screw and place it on the circle that you marked and just press down gently because you're creating the hole with the screw and just tighten it until it's nice and secured and so now your lazy susan hardware is secured by both ends so just finger tighten it you don't have to use a drill or anything but i guess you can if you want to but i just decided to do it with the screwdriver it's a little easier to show plus these dowels are probably in the way so i think screwdriver is best way to go with this okay look it's all done now we're ready to install it wherever you want i'm going to install it on my bookcase my bookcase is solid wood so i've already installed the two hinges and i just placed it right on the edge making sure that it's going to clear the whole space and so now it's just a matter of placing the whole setup onto the other side of the hinges just like that so i had to have hubby help me with that part he had to hold it for me because it was just too too heavy and look all i have to do now is add all my ribbon to it and that's pretty much it besides placing the other flower back on the other side and I will say if your bookcase or bookshelf is not solid wood if it's particle board just be careful with that because that's not as strong as solid wood but other than that it should work 
and I want to show you real quick what you do if your ribbon is open and it just comes out I like to use these little stick pins with the little gems and just place it on there to secure the ribbon in place and if it's the kind of ribbon that you can't stick a pin in then just a piece of tape would be just fine so yeah that's all it is and look how cute oh my goodness I love this little ribbon spinner that pulls out and so here's the other piece of the flower just align it with the dowels and that's it look at that look at that well I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and until my next video stay healthy safe and strong and have a great great day bye bye